here in Las Vegas. Apparently, they're still going for it with the, <laughs> the, the, the Golden Knights. Indoors apparently. for now. Yeah. Who, who knows about outdoors? <laughs> well, oh, God. All, Vegas yeah. outdoors. Well, they, didn't they do that? They're running out yeah, of water. They did. <laughs> yeah, the in Rangers Vegas. and Kings. In 94. Wow. Well, like you know, they're, 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 they're in a desert. And they're going to make ice, you know, on a, on a nightly basis. And do you see the the, the colors and the color scheme of the, of the Vegas? I wrote, I yeah. went past the NHL store in the city today and, and saw it. And uh, so they do the draft. All these teams, the Islanders included, make these deals to say, "Hey, don't take these guys. We'll give you a first round pick and some players if you do this." And one of the guys they was Grz- Grzboski, I guess. Grzboski, yeah. He's got five million dollars, so that'll allow the Golden Knights, which is so weird. They're going to have to change the name to be. Just knights or the goldies. No, or they really can't be the knights because there's a everyone else. T- no, that, no, there's a trademark in, in London, Ontario. L- yeah, London, the knights. L- London knights. So they, if they played in Canada, they cannot use the name. Knights. Oh wow, look at that! Wow, so they got to be the Golden Knights. Uh, so the Golden Knights, which is just they could be the Good Knights. <laughs> you know? yeah, well, so after they lose, <laughs> the Good Knights. So uh, it was a good night, uh, but uh, and if they play in Australia, they'd be the Good Days. But uh, the. They they now they have to reach the sal- ceiling the salary floor so that's what his contract does for them by, by they take money it's like a math so they got they got Mark Andre Fleury so they got a real goalie right they also they, got Barube I guess not, not a real goalie, goalie. <laughs> <laughs> they got some scores right they got some scores there they got uh, Neil right he can Neil. score so I just and then they've got a boatload of of draft picks now so. The least number of wins. Does anyone know this question? This answer. The lowest number of wins by an expansion team ever in hockey. What it was for a season. It was the Washington Capitals. I was about to say, was it the Washington? I don't know. Yeah, and it, how was, it was eight. It was eight. I was so, going to say six. I would think the good, the Golden Knights will get more than eight. So they're 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 okay okay shape there. But now you've got the. Idea of the Islanders lease at the Barclays Center, where the NBA draft is tonight, incidentally. Uh, but don't watch them. Listen to us. Uh, and you've got neither one wants to. It's a bad marriage. The hockey team doesn't want to be there. The uh, arena doesn't want them. And they've been talking about Belmont. And this is where Dave well, from. And then there's some news on. July 10th is the hearing at Belmont Library. But. And, but but, <laughs> no, no, that's but, important. That's but important. it's very that's important. important. Yeah. And there's news that happened yesterday that's particularly yes. important about that hearing. Yes. The uh, Nassau see, County see, Leg- the legislator. The, the, Nassau County, the, the Nassau County legislator who leads the charge against a um, an arena in that Belmont for any, any any sport was arrested in a domestic oh, violence wow. situation. Yeah. Nice guy, though. Uh, nice yeah, guy. and that's the thing. That's why I'm I, I'm trying hard not to pass any judgment whatsoever because people I know really like the guy. So <laughs> I'm trying to tread lightly here, but it is domestic violence, and that's big. So, and people of his own party, maybe being considered being politically expedient, are calling for him to resign immediately. Laura mm-hmm. Curran being one of them. Really. Too. So, all of a sudden, because everything you know, they always say like, follow the money, follow the thing. He's got bigger problems of his own right now. All of a sudden, when you have problems of your own, you stop fighting for other things when you got problems of your own. So that date of that hearing, yeah. things could change drama- dramatically based on what happened. I wonder yesterday. if that place can well, be able to hold. Many- I know that's a big library, if I'm not yep. mistaken. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're able to hold a lot of people though. In that. Yeah, no, they might have to make it. A, yeah, I at a different. I think venue. that's the library for the whole Sawanica. High school, school, school district. Central High School, school district, yeah. So, like, Elmont High School, Floral Park. Yep, I'm, yep. I'm not sure about Floral Park. Uh, Sawanica High School. Floral Park's part of it, yeah. yeah. Floral Park's part of it, yeah. Elmont High School, like, three different high schools, I think. Well, Elmont Memorial was uh, my friend who grew up in Valley Street. Right, but they, yeah. they served by that. So, 516-572-7440. You're listening to Sports Talk. We're here every Thursday evening, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on 90.3. WHPC, 100%, 100% commercial free. 516-572-7440. If I'm not mistaken, though, there's a... Legislated for Floral Park, it's different from Carrie Solage's. Yeah, there it is. It's a different guy. And so... They're against they, it, too. But they've yeah. got their own problems. Well, they've got the third rail. They've got the uh, third what's, track what's that they're name, fighting. What's uh, his name, the gentleman? Uh, I don't know. I know when I read it. But they've got the third yeah. track that they're fighting. you got to pick your battle. So if you're fighting yeah. against the third, the new third track they want to put on the main line over there, that's what you do. But we've got to call a call. You're on Sports Talk. Oh, Richie from Shirley. Hey, Richie from Shirley. Hey, before you start... I was in the pizza place tonight, and I saw Andrew DeMarco. Get out of here. Yeah, all of a sudden, I, I hear someone say my name. I turn around like, who is this? Oh, man, you should tell him I said hello. Man. I will. I will. I definitely will. Andrew DeMarco Good was, guy. when I first joined the show, 
uh, back in 2004. Andrew Marco was one of my two co-hosts, Steve Novick and Andrew DeMarco, and, and Andrew was one of them. And then I saw him tonight with his uh, with his girlfriend. He was waiting on four pizza slices, and he was, he was there for 15 minutes. <laughs> and, he's, and if you know Andrew DeMarco, he's a loud guy. He's like, I've been here for 15 minutes waiting for four slices. <laughs> one time, we uh, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Greek show on the station called The Soul of Halas, and it's hosted by Teddy Savalas, uh, Teddy Savalas, who, no, Teddy Savalas, who's Teddy Savalas' brother. And so a lot of, you know, it may be stereotypical, but... Greek di- diners tend to be owned by Greek people, right? So he's got a big, big following. And one night after the show, Andrew DeMarco went to the, the diner that's on um, Hempstead Turnpike by in, in Levittown, by the, the, I guess there's a Walmart over there, whichever, I forget what it's right. called. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. And all of a sudden, Andrew starts talking with his large life voice. And all of a sudden, the guy turns and goes, oh, Sports Talk! You're from the Sports Talk! Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny. he knew that Andrew was from Sports Talk. But, uh, yeah, so now Richie's a Jets fan. He's a Jets and Yankees fan. So uh, Wait, you guys are... I got, I got to tell you a story. Okay, now, okay. I went to the, the... I had won the tickets for the Duck game the other day, okay? So I go, I go to the window, and I said, uh, Chris Muldoon sent me here. And he says, sure, go right in. You can sit anywhere you want. Anyway, the promotion department, right... Forgot to put people's last names on it on uh, the 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 tickets. Huh. So it, it took them a, it took them a while, but uh, about ten minutes later they found it. They said it was like it was uh, Richie, I think another guy, Jimmy, somebody else won tickets. Yeah, yeah, Jim Connors. Yeah, Jim. right. And, and they didn't put uh, nobody's last name on there. Oh wow! Huh? Wow. That's funny, right? Yeah, yeah. So did did you did you win it from our show or a different show? No, the, the show uh, the guy, what's his name? My man tonight is talking that. Uh, on a Friday at three o'clock. Oh, Friday. Okay, so the uh, Beyond the Game. Yeah, Beyond the Game. Okay, good show. Oh, good show. Nice. Yeah, with Walkie and Talkie. And, yeah, and no, Steph, no. yeah. Steph, Anyway, right? I was okay. at the I was at the house last night and I seen uh, Carton. So he walked past me last night. And I said, "Hey, pots and pans, what's up?" He smiled. I mean, he walked by. He's with his kids. Well, um, so he seems like he's a nice guy. Though. Francesa finally returned. Fi- I don't know if anybody here saw that, but Francesa finally returned fire to Carton today. He they're, did, huh? Yeah, they're doing the um, 30th anniversary, right, I guess, right. of the fan. Yeah, and Carton said that uh, he's that that Francesa is tarnishing his legacy, and he's not. Oh. He's being mean to callers, and he's going out uh, yeah. this way, and he's yeah. off his game. Blah blah yeah. blah. And I guess Francesa was a surprised of these words and he said to Neil Best at Newsday and he went back and said, you know, I haven't lost my game, my numbers, I'm still winning every poll, right, right, right. still winning whatever and yeah. I don't know why those guys, and then he corrected himself because I don't know if it's Boomer, I know it's Carton you know, yeah. why they have to say these things yeah. about me and, and, and the like, so wow, interesting stuff, yeah, yeah. He was at, uh, I seen him at Belmont uh, like two weeks ago, he was nice he signed, a, he signed a picture for me, he took pictures of people, he was very nice Oh, Francesca? Yeah, he's very nice, yeah. That's right. Took yeah. a lot of pictures of people, you know, signed a lot of stuff with, like, pictures. He's very nice. So, he, so they, to me, he was not a bad guy. Well, I would say this, and, and because when I was uh, told, you know, we've got uh, Adam and Cameron new on the show right. tonight, and our program director had sent me over, you know, what kind of sports they like and the like, uh, what they like and the like, and, and um, he had mentioned they liked hockey. And it's so funny because there was an entire generation of people who were weaned on Mike and the Mad Dog because yes. Mike and the Mad Dog hated hockey. Yes, they they, never, they avoided hockey. Yes. They ignored hockey. They wouldn't discuss hockey. So when I would have co-hosts early on the show the, of that generation that was Mike and the Mad Dog's wheelhouse right there, none of those guys like hockey. So hockey wasn't even a thing. And I would have hockey guests. Alan Hahn would be here all the time in the studio. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. And then now I see all the guys, the young guys in this audience love hockey. I think it's room. more that Chris Russo never liked hockey because Francesca will bring on Joe Micheletti. He'll Usually bring, in the playoffs, so yeah. But yeah. but 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 even during the playoffs, did Mike and the Med, did they really bring on hockey guys? No, no. But of course they were two guys fighting for one microphone. So at least when Francesca's so low, I guess he figures I need another voice, and maybe he'll bring on Micheletti. And Micheletti's good. Micheletti's yeah. really good. Did you, hear, did you hear it today? The Vegas has the most money ever bet has been on. The Jets today that they won't win. They won't, they won't win more than four games. Well, we've let's see. Bo- both that? Giants fans, though, right? The new, the new guys. So. Yeah. Do you? Let, let's ask you guys this because I I was actually, and I'm a Giants fan, but but the Jets don't bother me. I was actually physically hurt by what when they released David. Harris. And look where he signed. Do you see where David Harris signed? 
We're, we knew we were going to sign. I'm happy for him. Uh, the yeah. Patriots. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. He, he he had a great landing spot, a fantastic oh, landing. Spot. I want Nick Mango to sign to them also. Yeah. He apparently has a big giant fork sticking out of him because he's done. Apparently, yeah. nobody wants to go anywhere near Nick Mango. Why? 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 But I guess he was replaced, like the guy who replaced him did far better, you know, because they grade every game. When you're an offensive lineman, everything you do gets graded after the, in the, right. in the film. And I guess the guy who repla- replaced Mangold graded out far better than Mangold ever did. So it's like, yeah. hey, if this, this unknown guy was better than you at center, why do we want to go take you as a center somewhere else? Mm-hmm. So, but, right. uh, but oh. so the question is, so I was, when, when they, you know, they release... David Harris and everything, that, and Eric Decker. Though I mean, Decker wasn't going. But where did Decker sign? The what, Titans. What a surprise, huh? Let's yeah. see. His gorgeous wife yeah. is a country western singer. Hmm, where should she sign? <laughs> so yeah. So and it's funny because you're watching the Nashville Predators and every Botox actress singer in the crowd: Nicole Kidman, Carrie Underwood. Who else is down there? They're all in the crowd, you know, cheering on in Nashville. Yeah. So M- Miss Jesse James can join them in the Nashville Luke Predators Bryan. cheer. Yeah, they're, exactly. they're a good team. They might win their division. The Titans? I'm saying. No. Mariota got no. Mar- Texans. No, oh, no, no. Te- they're not in the same. No, place. no, they, they, they are. Division, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Texans. Yeah, but Mariota got hurt. Listen, nah, man, we, it's a rookie there right now. We, you have to really think about it, like the pieces that the, the Titans well, who's have. The te- who's the Texans' quarterback? Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. So a rookie, you know. Yeah, so, that's so the a only. A piece of paper, essentially. You know? you know, well, can they just make up their mind already who's going to be a quarterback already? Like, really? Who is that? Can they just make up their mind who's going to be a quarterback? Listen, Mark Sanchez took us to the AFC Championship our first year. We know it's going to be McCown, right? But all they tell us is McCown is a player coach, right? He's a mentor. Every every Everywhere he's been the last five years, he's been a mentor. McCown the clown. McCown the clown. He's been a mentor. Well, you got to have a mentor. Oh, he's a mentor. He's a mentor. He's a helicopter. He's like having a coach on the field. All those quotes you see about him. It's like, you know, he's. It's like, yeah, you need a quarterback on the field, you know. But. There, I don't. How many? And I, I guess the schedule is out. But you, you know, eyeballing an NFL schedule never works anyway because the teams you think are going to be good are good, and the teams that aren't aren't or aren't. But do they win? Do they go one and fifteen? No. I don't think they go zero and sixteen. But no, they could. Two, they're they're two that in, bad. They're two and eight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they kick out. Of, like three yeah, or four it'll years. cost them the first overall so pick. They don't, yeah. You're telling me they don't take a game from the from the Bills at all? They, they, I think they might take one from the Bills, and I think they might take one from the, the Dolphins also. Yeah, it's not happening with the Patriots. Well, the Dolphins yeah, yeah. are really yeah, the, good, but though. they would be the ones though. Yeah, who the Patriots? No, the, like the Jets would be like that team that'd be in oh, like, that catch one game. Off. Yeah, that no, one no, that's true. <laughs> a trap game that's that somehow you know you know Brady's like uh, he hurts his leg or something. Yeah, he's or he's late getting back from Rome. Uh, you think Ted but if you think about it, the Patriots apart from you know the butt fumble game, whose job? Ted Bowles, the coach. Oh, Todd Bowles? Yeah, you think he'll be done next year? Well, he doesn't have to do anything. He could sit in a lawn chair on the sideline this year because the team, whether he's, they have a coach or not, is going to lose. The owner's yeah. absent, too. Yeah, the owner's in London. The, the yeah. Patriots, apart from like the Buff Fumble game, they didn't. They don't really blow out the Jets. No. If you think about it, it's it's close game somehow, just some way, no matter. Yeah, yeah, and then the Patriots do just enough. So, you know, maybe KJ is right about that. It yeah, could be the Patriots. Well, we could talk to you in a second. Do you know they have an exhibition game on September? 17th? Uh, that's the Coliseum. Coliseum. But that's not what they're supposed to. Their contract called that yeah. they had with Nassau County said they had to have three or five. Oh, that'd be five. They're five. having a preseason game at the Coliseum? One game. Yeah, One game. I'm going to buy a ticket. Yeah, well, yeah. Of course you are. They might, that team might be a little too mainstream, though. For but you. not this year, though. <laughs> but this year? The, the thing with the contract, when it was signed, it was said that the they were going to owe five games that could be any combination of, of preseason yeah. and regular season games, Fine. or else they'd have to pay the county like a million dollars. So Use it towards Nigel, now they're going to say that they're going. To, yeah, now now the uh, the now once the schedule was officially released last week, the preseason schedule and venues were officially released last week. Nassau County issued a press release saying we are going to f- charge them the million dollars they owe for not fulfilling their end of the bargain. Now will they see that? Who knows? But I can imagine how much a ticket price is going to be for having to see. You know. Well, just think about the amount of preparation you have to do to to get a. Uh, an ice hockey rink ready for an NHL game, even though it's preseason. You know they're going to have to make the get well, the they're going to make it special. They're the, going to make it with the, the original Islander paint, I'd guess. You know, yeah. Right. The other thing too is the, the Nassau, the new Red Coliseum, right? Holds thirteen thousand. Yep. Correct. I think it's like thirteen thousand. Yep. Now for ha- for NHL franchise, they uh, need sixteen thousand. Yep. Yep. Okay. So they can't put three thousand more seats into the Coliseum. 
If you've been in there since they did the, I love that they call it the new Coliseum. It's the yeah. same thing. It's a,